Good evening, I'm Lee Zurich. And I'm Kim Holden. Businessman Sidney Torres and a French Quarter resident end their public feud to provide better security to residents. Yeah, the plan includes keeping the security task force out of the hands of the downtown development district. Meg Gatto explains. We made amends and we decided to work together for the betterment of the city. After taking out a full page ad blasting the NOPD and Bob Sims, the volunteer running the security task force, and then engaging in this exchange. You've accused me in the press. You've lied to me, Bob. I mean, if you want to lie to you've lied to me. You all want to listen to you lied to me. Torres and Sims decided enough is enough. Fed up with crime. Together, they're regaining control of the task force after Torres says the city wanted the DDD to run it. They're also bringing back more officers to hit the streets after patrols were scaled back to only 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. The mayor's office has agreed to staff the program back 24 hours a day administratively and as well as an officer on the street 24 hours a day. It's a definite step in the right direction and it. This whole thing about violence has to be stopped. Gloria Willis is an artist who works in Jackson Square. Just this past Sunday, a man trying to break up a fight was stabbed in the middle of the day. Tour guide company owner Finus Shellnut says crime is the number one concern for visitors. When we have uh, reports like the, the two lane guy this past weekend, that's terrible press. I felt so sorry for the, for the, the, the whole family. And I feel sorry for the city. Torres hopes an upgraded app used to report crimes to the task force will be utilized by Torres. It'll also help the off duty NOPD officers responding to incidents. Now it's going to be just like Uber, where you, when you pull it up, it immediately tells you where you are when you submit the crime. So then the officer knows the location of the person submitting the crime. Officers are getting new wheels too. These smart cars will replace the Polaris vehicles many said were unsuitable for the streets of the French Quarter. It's all an effort to improve response times and efficiency for the men and women who help to keep the quarter safe. The whole system will now be paperless, meaning officers check in and out on the app and provide a log of their daily activities. We're told it'll be much easier to run and manage.